Hey everybody and welcome back. As always, I'm Eric for President. You know the drill, your one-stop shop for five VR stories you missed over the past couple days. With every video, links and sources for everything discussed will be down in the video description. Timestamps for all stories discussed will be in the pinned comment. Your time is valuable to me. You can choose what you want to watch based on your interest. Also, the Oculus Quest headset giveaway for this month. Still ongoing that giveaway. Check that link down in the pinned comment. And finally, my VR therapy, my second channel. Thank you all for the support. That link is in the pinned comment as well. I'm a little under the weather today. Let's jump right into some awesome stories going on that I'm really excited to discuss. We start today off with a quick segment on what you amazing VR gamers can do to currently help the world affairs going on. Because Nvidia is calling on gaming PC owners to put their systems to work fighting COVID-19. Since many of you are watching this, we'll have VR ready rigs, more than capable computers. Let's do what we can. Taken from Connor Sheridan's article linked in the video description from Games Radar, he explains it very well. Nvidia is putting in a call to PC gamers everywhere to download the folding at home application and start putting their spare clock cycles towards advancing humanity's scientific knowledge on the current world affairs. The program links computers in an international network that uses distributed processing power to chew through massive computing tasks, something that gaming grade GPUs are quite good at. You can still turn the application off and reclaim your GPU's full power for playing games whenever you want. Now I have to admit after reading the comment sections on Twitter, Facebook, Reddit, about this subject, I know some of you are heavily, heavily against this, but for once in a while, something doesn't take a lot of effort, doesn't take a lot of time. You probably have your computer on right now anyway, I leave it on all the time by accident. Do some good with your spare time, whether you believe in it or not, it may help somebody. Although, if you have a metered connection, a metered internet connection, for the love of God, do not do this because you will lose all your data and uh, possibly go to the poorhouse. So keep that in mind. Let me know your thoughts on this. It's VR for good, people. But that's a perfect segue into our next story, another VR for good, based on an article that's circulating along with the Steam announcement. It is finally time for VR to step up, guys. Because in an article by Ari Mostov and Maya Adam from Scientific American, they speculate that video games and other entertainment slowing the spreading of the world affairs going on now is not as crazy as it may sound. Stopping the spread of problems like we have now can greatly be influenced by the power of information and how we get it and apply it with the argument in this article that gaming may be a perfect way to disseminate information. Plague Inc, a game where you create a virus with the goal of world domination, had a website crashing influx of people playing the game with the intention to better understand how disease is spread, even with no evidence that the game could even do that. With self-isolation at large, Steam even had a record number of players in a day, shattering the past one showing that when we have the time, Gaming is a valuable and fun time passer. So where does VR fit in here? Time and time again, studies have shown that comprehension in an immersive VR-like experience leads to better learning and comprehension, something perfect to spread the information that we all need. Many times we innovate not in good times, but in rough times where we learn through pain and VR should see that it is the time for the virtual world to finally help out the real world. That's where we are now. I highly encourage you all to check out that article. It really opened my eyes to the way gaming can really help but VR for good. There are so many ways that VR can be used to help us learn, to comprehend, to spread information, to have virtual conferences and virtual meetings because human interaction is key to a lot of things. I, I obviously preach VR 24 seven. You know how important it is to me. And these are the kind of stories that really help. I'm interested to hear your thoughts. But we finally have some game announcement news and then I've been asked every single video, but I think it's gonna be an easy test for the much harder test to come. And that's because we finally have pretty concrete news from Steel Wool Studios for Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted port to the Oculus Quest. Something again, I get questions on in every single video. In their post, we know for a fact Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted will be coming to the Oculus Quest, Xbox, and Switch, and Steel Wool Studios is planning on the next couple months for this port to release on the Oculus Quest. Now this is great news, but we'll be a test for sure. An easy one now with harder ones to come. I'm talking about the downgrades we may or may not see compared to the PC VR counterparts. With games like Superhot and Beat Saber, we have seen really great ports, with ports like Robo Recall being very much turned down though on the Oculus Quest compared to PC VR. Five Nights at Freddy's should be able to hold much of the graphical fidelity of its PC VR version due to being a great game to port to the Oculus Quest. However, I worry about games such as Onward, and the draw distance needed for a great military simulator, Echo Arena having very much a lot of movement where you need to push and pull behind your head, something the Oculus Quest cameras are just not great with, and with the Walking Dead Saints and Sinners fantastic graphics, I can't imagine even 50% the graphical fidelity of the PC VR version on the Oculus Quest. Now of course that is just my opinions, let me know yours. 
it's all speculative until we have these games in the oculus quest we won't know but there are a lot of games that need to be coming to the oculus quest that have been in the coming soon section for quite a while that i am not sure what we will see on the oculus quest compared to the pc vr counterparts and at the end of the day will it help or will it hurt the platform that will be to be decided once the games come out let me know your thoughts we also have a week of oculus and facebook related announcements new games new info and that's all starting today at the launch of this video because of the world affairs going on and in-person events being canceled facebook sees the writing on the wall to add a virtual event to give us some amazing vr things to look forward to straight from the blog itself we expect game updates to first details on new experiences We'll see what's coming next for popular titles like Pistol Whip from the team at Cloudhead Games and Beat Saber from the folks at Beat Games. We'll also get fresh takes on original titles coming to the Quest, like The Room VR, Dark Matter from Fireproof Games, Lies Beneath from Drifter Entertainment, and Phantom Covert Ops, a game that we've been talking about for a long time from End Dream. As stated below, the event kicks off March 16th and goes throughout the week, so let's hope for some awesome news and maybe a few surprises of what that coming soon section may actually have coming soon and that's where we are right now i'm very interested to hear what you think may be coming over this week and again this event is starting right now at the time of this video's release monday march 16th going to the end of the week i think it's a perfect opportunity facebook understands that with all these in-person events getting canceled like gdc that we need events to show us what is coming to build hype and make sure vr moves forward so i'm interested to see what's coming because other than half-life alex we need some more hype after that, but let me know your thoughts. And for our final story, although cloud gaming in VR is already kind of a thing to a degree, there is a new development that may be making PC VR straight to the Oculus Quest much more viable this year. Originally posted on Upload VR by David Heaney, French startup Blade behind the Shadow Cloud PC service will launch a closed beta for an Oculus Quest app allowing subscribers to play own Steam VR content from anywhere with a good internet connection. If this ends up working well, Quest users may be able to be ready to play Half-Life Alex when it launches and play it well March 23rd by buying the game on Steam VR and paying Blade a monthly fee. Shadow is a subscription service providing customers remote access to a high-end PC in the cloud. It first launched in 2017 in France and Shadow allows users full access to the operating system of the PC so users can install and use whatever software they want, including games. But better yet, unlike Stadia, users don't have to repurchase games that they already own on Steam. Now the pricing for the service is here, and interested to hear your thoughts on it, but of course there's always a catch. But of course the big catch is always latency. Latency, latency, latency. The delay between your actions and what you see on screen. And in VR, latency is extremely important because poor latency not only makes a bad VR gaming experience, but it'll make you sick. It'll make many people sick. And I know there is a standard, I hear different reports, 10 to 30 milliseconds of latency is okay, and different people have different sensitivities, but I think if they want cloud gaming, especially cloud VR gaming to work, sub 10 needs to happen, otherwise motion sickness is going to happen. That's just my thoughts, let me know yours. With that being said, that is the end of today's video. Please leave a like to support it, it would mean a lot to me. Make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon, that way you never mess an upload. Join the Patreon because everything in there is just going to get reinvested back to the channel. Thank you all, and of course, for all Patreon subscribers, you get the podcast every Sunday. That is the Patreon perk. And with that being said, guys, I'm Eric for present. I'll see you on the next one, VR Space Cowboys. Yeah.